Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Brian. Welcome to Adron Tool, one of the most comprehensive EDM shops you can find in America. You may wonder what sets Adron apart from the rest. It's quite simple. We're big. Adron has 74 state-of-the-art wire EDM machines, so we can easily handle multiple clients and satisfy customer needs simultaneously. We've got four machines that can do 32 inches tall. We can take your biggest part, we can take your smallest part. 32 inches tall, 10,000 pound parts. We do that on a daily basis in production mode and one piece orders your prototypes. Behind me here is a part that's approximately seven feet long. It would not fit in a submersible machine, but we can handle it. We're now CMMC. We're one of the first 10 companies in the entire world, I believe, to become CMMC. The others are Honeywell's, Lockheed's, and then this little Adron company. If an unforeseen error happens, we will find it and we will correct it. I see a vision. We have to get there. If we don't, somebody else will. And let's not forget the security aspect. Not many other shops can boast what we do to keep your parts secure. In the rare case when a defect is found, what sets a good vendor apart from a great vendor is the good communication that we'll have with you to work through the problem. And our attitude puts us in the great category. Remember, if you're not happy, we're not happy. You're asking, what am I about? When I make a promise that we're going to do something, we're going to do it. I don't care what the excuses are. If there's a problem, we'll figure it out. Pretty impressive, hey? We want to put these machines to work for you. Welcome to the EDM production floor. We have 74 wire machines of various sizes, and we're able to do parts from 10,000 pounds down to something you can hold in your hand. This is where all the magic happens. Wire EDM is uh, electrical discharge machining. In a nutshell, an electrical current is introduced into a 10 or 12 thousandths diameter brass wire, which creates a spark that jumps from the wire to the workpiece. It's actually the spark that does the erosion of material. It's not the wire that does the cutting, it's the electrical spark. In this particular type of machine, it's a submersible wire EDM. The part is under a bath of deionized water, which cools the spark and also flushes away the eroded material. Another thing is, whether the metal is soft or hard, it does not make a difference as long as it conducts electricity. We can EDM virtually any material that is conductive, exotic metals, the high nickel alloys, we can do copper, we can do brass, we can do tool steel, you name it, we've probably seen it. The EDM doesn't care how hard a part is. You know, you can take a 60 Rockwell mold, die, and EDM will cut through it just as well as aluminum. One interesting aspect of the wire, and actually one benefit of wire EDM, is because the wire is only used one time, it starts on a spool, goes through the erosion process, gets thrown away as scrap. Every time that piece of wire is, is in contact with your part, it's a brand new tool. It never varies in size as opposed to a drill or a mill getting dulled in a conventional machining center. Yeah, wire EDM is repeatable and reliable. But that electrical curve can be held to very tight tolerances. We can hold tenths, but most jobs are with it in thousands. Of course, when you get to the very large parts, you might think that goes by the wayside, but we can still be pretty easily within a thousandth or two of what you need. We consume enough wire in a year's time to go around the world three times. Our largest machine can hold a 9,800 pound block. We just got done cutting a large bucket mold that was in there for four weeks. You'll notice you don't see any people running these machines. Believe me, we have people. We have great people. But in the case of this particular part, an operator loads it into the fixture, comes back an hour and a half later to a finished part. This is a typical cell of machines. There are 10 right here, and they are all running similar parts so that one operator can handle all 10 machines at the same time. In this particular cell, we are making a small, rather intricate little piece that's used in the laser-guided navigation systems of aircraft. In this particular part, we've been running in one form or another for nearly 30 years for our customer. This whole area behind me, all the way to the back, are, are all submersibles, and they're the new MVs, they're either the 1200, the 2400, or the 4800 machines. 
Now, as we move down the shop floor here, this particular cell here, very similar machines to the other cell. However, this part here, this is a fantastic part. This is an intricate, complicated small part that's used in missile guidance. This part is very fragile and could never be conventionally machined. We've developed a five-step EDM process that goes all the way from raw material to finished part. So here's the part. Oops, I'm sorry, I can't show you that due to NDAs. And that gives you an idea of our security around here. Even though we specialize in production runs, you don't need 10,000 parts to come to Adron Tool. EDM is good for prototyping of stamping work. Uh, we can take uh, 10 thou thick plates, stack up 100 of them, cut them all at once. We've got 100 finished plates. In certain cases, EDM is actually uh, more efficient as a production process than stamping. It's going to be a lot more accurate. You don't have the distortion that you get from stamping thin parts. Uh, you don't get the burrs. If you come to us and ask for a single piece or a five piece first article run, we can accommodate that also. Whether it's one part or one million, same process, same sharp tool, same great attitude. We've got it all. I mean, in general, as the volume of a part increases, we can develop fixturing to run the process more efficiently. Fixturing doesn't have to be done only here at Adron. In the past, we've worked with customers and helped them to develop the type of fixture that they can supply to us. Here at Adron, we are the EDM specialists. We have the locked entry points. We have locked record storage. We have locked part storage with entry uh, only to those who need it. That is a necessary component of working with aerospace and defense parts. When you build a new facility, you have the luxury of starting with a clean slate. As a result of that luxury, let me show you my tool room and Adron sinker department. Did you say tool room? In our over 20,000 square foot tool room, we have five vertical machining centers, we have three Haas VMCs, we have two Mazak VTCs, the Machining Center, it supports our core competency, it supports our business, and if a part is like 90% wire and 10% machining, we can help the customer out that way too. Okay, so with wire, we do it with a brass spool of wire that connects the electrical curve. In the sinker department, what we have are electrodes. They're graphite. They handle an electrical charge too. If we don't have a start hole to get through a part, then we can take the shape of the part line it up with the center and the top of the part and then we can just gradually go down and create the shape that way. Sinker EDM or conventional EDM is when you have an electrode of a shape whether it's made out of copper or graphite that conducts the electricity and burns that shape into a piece of metal. So let's pretend uh, we have a quarter, American quarter. You can't stamp a quarter without a die and the dies are, are made by EDM sinker machines. This is a piece of graphite. So, the same thing that we find in our number two pencils for the most part, that's this same part right here. This is what allows us to achieve our machining. So, the machine provides the power to this electrode is what it's called, this piece of graphite. And then with that, we can achieve this exact shape into a desired part at the desired dimension as well. So, the reason that it stays under the oil, so it's a dielectric oil that allows it to machine without it getting too high of temperature. So, as soon as the tank drains, even though we see some sparks and some, a little bit of smoke here, as soon as the, the machine stops, you can touch this part right here and it's, and it's cool to the touch right away. The inspection room is behind me. It's 4,000 square feet, climate controlled. We have four conventional CMMs uh, and four optical CMMs. Behind me is one of our coordinate measuring machines. Uh, we're taking measurements on a part that we just produced right now to make sure that it falls within your necessary requirements. The long cycle times of uh, the EDM process allows us to do a lot of inspection. Generally, uh, most all parts are checked 100% uh, on at least a few control dimensions. We have a quality system that is ISO, AS, and NADCAP. The reason for the climate control mostly is due to tolerancing uh, thermal expansion on the materials. Particularly aluminum can be a bad one where it uh, expands a lot, just a few degrees can really make a difference on that. Adron is a, a second generation family run business and I think that's important because they treat us like family. I've worked at Adron Tools since 1988. And then I came to Adron, uh, that was about 30 years ago. I started here at Adron Tool way back in 1982. 
work here at Adron for about the last four years now. I love it. I love it. We make some very interesting things. But I do know what we will do for that customer. It has to be right. And they're typically not disappointed. After the end of the day, when they get their part, I mean, they're back. And then we also have a lot of people telling other people about us. And that's, that's a really a cool thing. And it's been happening for 60 some years. Because we are the EDM specialists.